Hey guys, how's it going? This is Josh from Texan UK. Uh, so in this one, I want to show you how to install C file to a Linux server, preferably CentOS. <laughs> um, if you're running Debian, that's fine. If you're running um, whichever version, Red Hat, you know, whatever, we're going to be installing um, C file on our Linux server. So uh, C file, if you didn't know, is basically a next generation open source cloud storage uh, server. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it as a server. Um, basically, it allows you to access your data via clients um, on Windows machines, uh, Android devices, iPhones, things like that. Uh, and you can then basically run this on your Linux server and access your data from wherever. So this is really, really similar to uh, the really popular own cloud. Um, now, um, I quite like C file for what it is. Um, own cloud I was trying to install last night on my CentOS machine. I was having nothing but problems. Um, I was installing. Um, it tells you to go out and down, uh, download pretty much the repository, the whole re uh, repo for it. Um, so you download that, and what you get, nothing but uh, dependencies uh, missing. So um, pretty much, uh, there's a problem with their repo because they're all PHP dependencies. Something about having to install PHP pack or something like that, but. Anyway, um, without getting onto that too much, we're going to be installing a C file. Um, this is a lot easier to install than um, uh, than uh, own cloud. It's literally just um, running it and getting going. There's a couple of dependencies I think we need to install. Uh, let me just have a quick look. Last night when I installed it uh, on my server, there wasn't that many. Uh, there doesn't look to be a lot on the wiki. There we are. Um, let's have a look here. Uh, FAQs, server for Windows. Alright, okay, doesn't really uh, look to be like a lot. Okay, well, let's go ahead and install it anyway. So, head over to the uh, home page here and go to downloads and scroll down to the bottom where it says server for Linux. Obviously, select your one if it's 64 bit or 32 bit. Mine is 64 bit, so we're going to copy the link address. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, pretty much as always CD uh, into our TMP folder because um, we're downloading a installation file or a compressed package, and you know we can whack it in our temp folder, and when we restart our machine, it's gone. Um, so we're going to w get that file. I do Control Shift V, which paste in the uh, shell there. So now if we ls, we can see we have a C file dash server file. So what we're going to do is we're going to use tar-xf uh, c file and that's now going to extract uh, all the files and it's going to give us a little folder there called c file server and what we're going to do is we're going to rename that c file dash server dash 2.04 to just c file makes things a lot easier when accessing it on our server uh, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to um, move uh, that c file uh, c file file uh, to our web server so you're going to obviously need uh, apache um, install for this because obviously it's a web server so, uh, where it's a web based uh, interface so you're going to need uh, apache on there so uh, we're going to move this to our var www directory html because obviously that's the root for our um, uh, the, the, our apache server uh, and then we're just going to move um, I got the wrong way around. What am I doing? Uh, I was going to move C file. So like that. There you go. C C C file's gone then. And just for shits and giggles, I'm just going to uh, remove that C file file just because then I know it's gone. And then what we're going to do is we're going to var into our HTML folder, and there it is. Look, C file. So um, I went onto the C file website, and it actually says that um. Yeah, look, no installation needed, just extract and run it. See, so I was a bit confused by this, but what they actually want you to install or, or run is the setup cfile.sh. So we run setup.cfile.sh. Uh, I run as this script as root, so obviously su into su uh, to run this. So we're going to hit yes, uh, and then it's going to guide us for a couple of things. Now it's checked for a couple of uh, dependencies here. Um, so I will, what I'll do is um, just make sure you have these ones here. Uh, so you're going to basically pretty much need Python. So just install Python. That should get them all. Um, I don't think there's actually a, 
a repo for um, C file it just goes obviously there's no repo needed because it downloads the file directly so uh, make sure you have Python and things like that installed um, server name for me is cloud.blades.me um, uh, apparently it's not a valid, valid name so I'll just put uh, blades.me okay apparently that's not even a valid name oh right okay um, sorry that's my bad I'm just reading that. I was thinking about it being the next step. There we go. Now it's the domain. <laughs> uh, getting too far ahead of myself. Um, so the port it uses is pretty much 1,000 and well, 10,001. Um, so I'm gonna leave it at that because my um, uh, webmin server runs on 1,000, so makes it a bit easier to connect. Uh, it's pretty much the same way as it want to put all the data. We're just gonna put it in our var directory there. Look, it's I'm going to have to uh, probably further down the line edit the .ht access file because obviously I don't want people to be able to access the cfile.data folder because that would be stupid and pointless. Um, which TCP port do you want cfile to use on the server? 12,000, uh, yeah, 12,001, probably the best uh, 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 port to use there. Um, uh, TCP port, that's fine. 8082, that's fine. And uh, are you okay with these settings? We're going to hit uh, OK to continue. And then it's going to uh, go out and install the C Hub configuration. Uh, so it's done that. So I'll give it a sec. Hit enter again. Uh, please specify the email you would like to use. So I will use um, my email address. Use a little blank password there. Are you okay with these, uh, this configuration? Hit enter to continue. It creates a whole bunch of config files. And now what we can do is connect to our C Hub server on port 8000. So, first thing we need to do is run the servers. Now, um, the annoying thing is it doesn't put these as services. That's a pain uh, because you can't just do service restart. You have to come in here and restart these files manually, which is a pain. But, uh, Anyway, let's run uh, cfile.sh start. Oh. Okay, apparently that one's already running, which is cool. Uh, and probably run chub as well. I think it's because it's running from last time. It's telling me that it was already running. Uh, but for you, it should start them up anyway. Um, so anyway, what we need to do now is go over to our tabs here and run go to port 8000. And here we are, look, it's logging us into our C file, which is hosted on our, on our server here. Uh, so we're going to enter the email we typed in and the password. Okay, we're going to do that again. We're going to type in the email and we're going to type in the working password. Uh, let me have a look here. There's something wrong with the password here. Unless it hasn't taken into account the new password I set up because I forgot to delete. Uh, the old information yeah basically what happened was is I installed um, uh, this uh, C file on my server last night so all the config files are still there so despite me going over and reinstalling it there it didn't obviously rewrite the config files so my password was the same as last night but for you it should be fine um, but anyway here look what you can do uh, is you can create a library uh, you can create a li library to organize your files you can create one for each of your projects each library can be synchronized and shared separately uh, synchronize with the PC client, download the library, blah blah blah. Uh, so you can create a new library, give it a name, give it a password if you want. Uh, see that you can encrypt stuff, and that's what I like. Uh, I like being able to encrypt uh, files. Um, I know that obviously this is on my VPS, but still, that's hosted in Amsterdam. And if someone were to get hold of it and look at the data, I mean, I'm probably never going to upload something that's that secure anyway. Um, but you know it's still something that's on there that's mine that I don't want other people to be able to see um, but you know that's pretty much it on how you install a uh, C file uh, onto a Linux web post so uh, thanks a lot for watching and I will um, catch you guys in the next one if you enjoyed this video uh, make sure you subscribe I'm going to be doing a lot more Linux, tut uh, Linux tutorials soon as well as some more Windows ones I'm sort of lacking behind on them um, but yeah make sure you subscribe like the video and if you've got any problems or whatnot just uh, drop a comment below and I'll try my best to help you out alright thanks a lot cheers